Hi everyone, you might know it's 10 years since our first upload and hopefully you've watched Professor Polyakov's top 10 video list. If you have, you may have come here and I'm going to name my top 10 from the other side of the camera. And the only caveat is I'm not going to name any that were on the professor's list. So here we go. Number one has to be our gold bullion vault video. At the time, no one had previously been allowed inside this vault to film all the gold. And I have to tell you, I'm sorry, it looked even more amazing in real life. Well, all together, if you look at the bank's annual report, it's worth £197 billion. What an incredible thing to see, all that gold in one place. Really memorable experience. Next, boiling water as we went to Everest Base Camp. Each night, we'd boil water at a different altitude, showing how the boiling point was changing as we got higher and higher. 91. Okay. This was obviously a really amazing trip to do. I think the video turned out really pretty and the music from Alan Stewart was also right on point. Bit of a nostalgic one here, cesium, the emperor of alkali metals. We'd always talked about cesium reactions. We've done quite a few over the years now, but looking back at the early days when we first tried it with Neil's ingenious contraptions and the excitement of not knowing what the cesium would do in the water. And let's see what happens. Ready guys? You might argue it was a bit of an anticlimax. I don't know. I still think it's an amazing thing to see. And it brings back a lot of fond memories watching this video. Nice purple flare. Really quite nice chemistry. Another road trip, Itterby, going to the mine just outside Stockholm in Sweden that gave its name to four elements on the periodic table. Take the exit left. This had a real sense of adventure. I think it may have been the first trip we ever did. We've reached the top. Where are we? Look up yonder. To the left. Oh, wow. <laughs> and it really felt like we were chasing periodic table history. Another periodic video's favourite is the barking dog reaction. We've done it numerous times in numerous ways. But it wasn't until we got a really good slow motion camera on it that we saw this chugging of the reaction front as it went down the tube. It was a bit of a surprise and really exciting to see it. We saw the reaction in a way we hadn't seen it before. <laughs> Another nostalgic one, remembering the early days when all these reactions were new and exciting and we first dropped sodium in water. It went off with a bang, we were having so much fun. And then there was that candid moment when Pete and Neil realized some of the sodium had come out of the reaction bowl onto my camera and they noticed while I was filming. It was something fun to include in the video. Oh, it's on your camera. Oh, it is too. Good thing we were all wearing safety specs. The people who know me may know I'm really into the Apollo moon landings. So this next video about a hypergolic reaction was really good fun. Houston. Right away, Houston. This is the same reaction that was used to propel the lunar modules from the moon after they'd landed. It also had a really remarkable sound. And opening the switch. And speaking of sound, my next choice is a video that was made for us by Dave from Boy in a Band, a good friend and a really clever guy. And he came to the labs, recorded a whole bunch of sounds and turned it into this dubstep music track, which I thought was really ingenious and something really different on the channel. We love doing reactions with things that are a little bit iconic, like say a cheeseburger, or in this case, cans of coke here in acid and alkali. Not only did this look spectacular and way more interesting than we thought, I love this candid reaction from Sam Tang. It really shows our enthusiasm for the project. I hadn't expect it to be quite so, wow. Last but certainly not least, hot charcoal in liquid oxygen. This is a favorite of Neil. He loves doing it any chance he gets. And when we pointed the slow motion camera on it, we saw how beautiful it really was. One of the prettiest things we filmed. Thanks so much for your support over 10 years. We really appreciate it. I'll include links on the screen to the top 10 lists, the professor's earlier video, our Patreon if you want to support the project as we go forward. And hopefully there'll be 
well, who knows, maybe another 10 years. Thanks for watching. Do you know about the Unmade podcast? This is a podcast I make with an old school friend called Tim. You really should check it out. I'll put links down in the description. Search the Unmade podcast on your player of choice, or we also put them on YouTube.